All right, listen up. If you're still manually copying your dot files from system to system like it's 1999, yeah, it's time to stop that because there's a better way. It's called GNU Sto, and it's like the closest thing to effort free dot file management you're ever gonna get. I know, I know, configuration management stuff, it kind of sounds like some overly complicated garbage that tech bros like to come up with, right? Trust me, Stow is about as hard as tying your shoelaces. Assuming that you haven't switched to Velcro yet. You haven't switched to Velcro yet. When I first took a look at this, I couldn't figure out how to configure it. But once you cut through the noise, it's actually very simple. I promise that this will be an error-proof tutorial that will allow you to store all of your favorite dot files. Okay, first things first, let's just install Stow. You're on Arch because, well, of course you are, and just use Pac-Man to install it. Pseudo Pac-Man dash capital S Stow. Pretty easy. For the rest of us sane people who are using Fedora or Debian-based distros, well, you could use DNF or app to install it just like this. Congrats, you've installed a package. Take a break if you need to. Now, let's make a directory to keep all of your precious config files all in one place. Call it dot files, or you can make it hidden by putting a dot in front of it. Like dot dot files, for example. Like, I don't really care. Whatever makes you happy. Then, inside that folder, just simply recreate the structure of your configs, like dot config, or dot local, or whatever other nonsense you hoard in your home directory. Grab all of your existing dot files and move them into the dot files folder. If it was like, for example, in your home dot config file, it goes into your dot files dot config file. If it was in your home dot local file, well, kind of same deal, dot files dot local file. You get the idea. Try not to overthink it though. Don't forget to create the repository. You basically just push this. You'll create a project on like GitLab or GitHub. They pretty much work the same way. And then you just kind of push it onto there. And then those dot files are available for you whenever. Now comes the fun part, or at least the part where Stow actually does something. Just cd right into that dot .files directory. Just enter stow dot. That's it. Now, you may not have noticed anything happen, but stow still worked magically to create symlinks back to your home directory. So everything works like it never left. Want proof? Fine. Go check your home Dot config folder, you'll see symlinks pointing right back to your neat little dot files setup. You done do everything? Well, that's pretty simple. Just run stow with the dash capital D flag and a dot, and boom, everything's back to where it was. You're welcome. Super pro tip avoid the dot get disaster. Now, before you push your dot files to GitHub or GitLab or whatever, delete the hidden dot get directories inside any of your config folders. If you don't, you're going to end up pushing someone's idea of a helpful nested get repo nightmare error thingy. So if you've already made this mistake because, well, of course you have, well, you could simply fix it by one, just remove the dot get directories from inside the problematic folders. Then you would move those folders out of the way. So you would just 
get them out of the dot files directory temporarily. Three, update your repo using get. Four, move them back into the dot files directory and then update the repo again using get. Yes, I know it's annoying. Unfortunately, I don't make the rules. And that's it. You are now marginally better at managing your DOP files. If you like this video, you'll probably enjoy my other rants about Linux minimalism and NeoVim, whatever. Just uh, check out this next video or just binge watch my NeoVim series while questioning your life choices. Blessings.